has been a long day, long trip, long, so long. Had a lot of fun with my dad. Not fun, more like a lot of conversations. <laughs> fun is not exactly the right word I would use for what happened today. So, got up at 6.20ish, met my grandma with my dad at 7ish at her apartment in her side of her uh, retirement home. And then we had breakfast, then we went back to her apartment, picked up some things, went to Walmart, picked up some more things, took off, drove all the way to Oak Ridge. Explored that a little bit, did a bunch of videos of that. Um, at one point, we drove by Grandma's childhood home briefly. She decided to stop and talk to the people, the owners of it, and they talked about history and all that. And apparently, we met a guy that's the engineer of Oak Ridge that somehow knew Glenn and Teresa Webb, aka my foster mother and her brother. Um, then we went to the state park, hung out there. I went and crossed the bridge and went to the outside, took pictures of grandma and dad from a distance and did some pictures of behind them while they were walking. Just basically took some really nice photos of them spending time together. And I, most of the trip, I'm gonna keep it honest, I was quiet. I didn't talk, I, literally took, I took like a two hour nap during that whole drive and I just kept to myself. Um, talked a little bit here and there. Grandma, it's, it's, it's hard to sometimes talk to her. Um, sometimes she's getting, she's 93 years old and she's to a point where she could die any day now to any year now. So we, we don't know. We, we have not a clue when that's going to happen. And so I spent my time just observing and talking softly and Multiple times I had to leave the room, and multiple times I had to just go by myself for a little bit. And like, I know she she's not dying, she's not actively dying, but she's 93 years old. And last time I saw her was two years ago. But the next time I might see her will probably be for mine and Tanya's wedding. Other than that, I never get to see Grandma. And it's going to be... Sorry, I heard knocking. And I don't see anything. Okay, weird. Anywho. Um, I mourned for her in my own way today because I wanted to at least have the chance to mourn for her. It hurts being around her. Um, she has been the type of grandma that wants to fix me. And it's never gone well for, for me. I mean, she's tried to fix me multiple times and it just never works well. And so it was a little rough. I couldn't exactly tell her everything going on in my life because she's going to either reprimand me or try to tell me. How... Did it lock again after you left? No, oh, okay. So Tony's in the car. Uh, It was just really rough for me today dealing with that. And then from there, we drove back to. Why is this? There you go. <laughs> I keep looking, I'm like, why is the back mirror so dark? Because it's dark outside. Yeah, I never used that. Why is it dark? I'm used to it. Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> so, um, to continue, uh, we went back to her apartment after we were in Oak Ridge. It was about, a, I want to say, about three, four, three and a half hour drive to, and then three and a half hour back. So that was about eight hours right there, roughly, of driving. <sighs> Took her back, said my goodbyes. Then we drove. Back here to Olympia. And the entire trip, 
we just talked a lot about my brother Benjamin and we talked about a little bit about me and Tanya and um, I'm going the way I always go every night. Oh, I thought you did. Oh, oh. that way. Oh. We did. Oh. This is the right I take at night. Um, talked a lot about my sister Bath and our relationship and just we had a lot of meaningful conversations. At one point I actually had to straight up tell him, hey, I don't know what to say about this matter. He really overwhelmed me and completely changed the subject. I said like three times. Where my, my dad got the picture and he apparently didn't hear me say those words at all. But he said he read my body language and my body language was telling him that. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> you aren't listening to my words, but you listen to my emotions. My body. Thanks. Makes me feel really hurt. Makes me wonder what else he's been ignoring. And then we got here to Olympia, picked up Tonya, went to Sherry's for dinner. And then just... Quietly sat and ate our meals. Dad sat there awkwardly as me and Tony were <laughs> borderline making out and hugging and cuddling, which I freaking love doing that now in front of him. I was very terrified doing it in the beginning. And now here we are. Tony and I are heading to my place for the night and go to bed. I'm planning to, my, my body is willing, let me sleep in tomorrow and do absolutely nothing until we take Tony's dress to get modified. And my god, those are bright. Dick. That's a dick move. For, for buying brighter headlights? Those weren't brighter lights. Those were on full on. No, they weren't. They weren't? Those were not bright. Oh. If, LED, if those LEDs are on bright, it's like looking at the sun. You think that's bad? I felt like I was looking at the sun. Like, I can still see the, the light in my You're eyes. You're just more sensitive to light than I am. But trust me, I see LEDs on, on high. And they are... It's like the sunrise. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between them. Absolute trash. They should never have been. They should have been tested quite thoroughly before they were ever sold on the market. Yeah. I did on the trip though. Um, modified my um, intros and outros. Did something a little different. See how that looks and works. I'm always tweaking it, changing it. Anyway, with that being said, I am tired. It's been a long day. It's 10:30, basically 10:30 in the night. Good night. I'll talk to you guys another day.